Yo, what's going on guys? Shake your big bag today with more my team kind of a tips and tricks video today Thanks to the homie Henry the Blasian honestly like um, I was really struggling with these evos and I was like bro How are people getting these done? They take so freaking long Well now I know and I mean they still take long but I mean they're they're much more I guess doable than I thought they were before by just kind of just normally playing the game this is clearly the move, in my opinion. I mean, people could say, and you can do all the kind of math you want, but I think this is the best way to do it. So again, a huge shout out to him. I will leave his link in the description. Go make sure to subscribe to him and check out his video on this. Um, it's just basically how to grind Evo is the best way possible. And it's basically just kind of telling you how to score 140 to like 160 points in a game of Rookie Domination. Now, there were a few things I learned just from trial and error and just talking to him in the DMs. Just because I was like, I, I first, I tried it, I saw a video, and I was like, okay, let me try this. And I'm like, man, I, I barely got 100 points. What the heck? What, what happened? Why did I not get that many points? I was doing some of the stuff wrong. And so, yeah, I'll just kind of go over that, I guess, a little bit. I just thought this video would be helpful, so I decided to make it. Because, as y'all know, I was literally complaining, like, man, it's impossible to get this damn Jays Richardson. And then one day with Jerry Stackhouse, we got 2,200 points and finished him up like it was, I mean, not like it's nothing. I literally sat here and probably played for, like, eight nine ten straight hours maybe it was a lot but it definitely wasn't as bad as like i, I thought it was before like I, bro i feel like i was playing for hours and hours and hours i played with this bob McAdoo a ton and he's only at 1500 points i scored way more than that in one like straight grinding session now the thing is this didn't earn me progress towards like triple threat online towards the dominique wilkins on that stuff but that's not really what i'm concerned for personally i want that jason richardson i think it's gonna be a pretty cool card and once i get him I can always put him in my triple threat lineup and then grind for Dominique Wilkins. By the time I get there, I got like three or four opals. But I don't know, just playing straight up triple threat. Like I've already played over 200 games and I looked and I was like, how does he already, he already has Jason Richardson and Opal. Yeah, he's only played 200 games of triple threat. So I was like, what am I doing wrong here? Well, this ain't the move for upgrading players. I'm telling you, triple threat just doesn't seem like the move for me. If you want to get guys upgraded now, like ASAP as fast as possible, it's just got to grind it out through domination on rookie mode. So I'll give you some of the tips on that. But we did get Jerry Stackhouse to paint diamond. And again, like a day ago, I was at like less than, like less, way less than a thousand points. So we got over, I think, 2,200 points scored with him yesterday. And I, I'll probably, honestly, I'll have this done by the end of the night. This Bob McAdoo, 1,500 points. That, again, you can get about 100 to 130 points. I mean, he got even 160 to 180 points with... I saw this Isaiah Thomas. Now, McAdoo doesn't have a three. So we're probably looking at maybe 80 to 100 points per game of domination. Domination on rookie mode is about 30 minutes. If you're not fouling, you're not calling timeouts, doing all this stuff. About 30 minutes. So in one hour, you can get about 200 points, which that's not that bad. So 1,500 divided by 200, that's not that bad. That's like seven hours, I think, of playtime, which, I mean, that's a lot of playtime, but... That's also not as bad as what I felt like it was before, man. I feel like I could play seven hours of Triple Threat and wouldn't even come close to that. Because one thing you got to realize, too, with Triple Threat Online, the games get harder as you go along, and they've been getting harder for me. Now I'm playing against better cards. feels like I'm playing Pink Diamonds every time. And once you get to 275, it goes up to Superstar difficulty, I think. One of these games around here goes to Superstar. I'm not even there yet, but it's just a pain. I don't know. I don't really like Triple Threat. They also patched hiding behind screens now. You can't do that, and the guy goes under every time. Now they, they start to go over. So, yeah, they kind of patched some of the game logic that made that a little bit harder. So... I don't know. I feel like rookie domination is the best move for this. Now, say you are you, you only got so much time and you, you got to focus in on certain areas, then go ahead and play triple that, but you're just not going to get these leveled up that fast. It's going to take a long time. I feel like it is 10 times faster by just playing it on rookie dump and just going ham, seeing how many points you can get. With Stackhouse, you also needed 500 assists too. I was able to get 50 assists in a game. So yeah, again, you can get 100 assists in one hour. So not bad. Again, it's a long process. These are meant to take weeks and probably even months to grind. And yet I was able to get most of it done in one day. So that shows you how good this method really is in just doing this kind of stuff. But we got this Bob McAdoo right here. I do need to grind out stats for him and hopefully I'll have him finished by tonight. So I'm just gonna go into, um, yeah, this and I'm gonna show you a couple of things. And I'll show you what you should be doing to grind out, it, whether it's Stackhouse 
or Magadu or Isaiah Thomas or just cards and give me some of the tips as I do it really quickly just here. So let's jump into it, but yeah, and I'll tell you kind of the things I've figured out from doing this. And honestly, I don't even think I'm as good as he is at doing it. Like, I'm not scoring 180 with Isaiah Thomas. There's no way. I don't know his release that much. It's all about knowing your player's releases for these three-point shooters on rookie, because it doesn't even matter if they're covered. Like, it just, it's, it comes down to release. Like, with this stack house, I can green it and green it for days, but I'm not going to grind out more with the stack house. It's not need. <laughs> I don't want to play with this card ever again, damn near. I've been using it all yesterday. Yesterday. But we do have this Isaiah Thomas, which needs another 2,000 points. And again, we need points and free throws, which I know how to grind, but it's still a pain in the freaking ass. So with the free throws, you can see you need 200 of those really quickly, just a touch on that. The best way to do this is just to use this card, pump fake a ton, and honestly, just drive into defenders, like boom, barrel into them. And then once the game gets to the last... 30 seconds be winning by six points and then you can literally just foul the cpu and they'll shoot their free throws and then they're gonna foul you and it'll keep going like and you can just immediately foul smash this button and you can get like another 10 to 15 to almost 20 free throws if you really are on top of full court pressing and making sure bob mcadoo is not the inbound you can really get like 30 to maybe 40 if you're if you're pushing to free throws a game so there's ways to do that as well you can do that in like the weekly challenges or something that's what i've been doing so, yeah, um, but let's get into the domination aspect. You get a lot of stats, man, and that's the one thing you need for those Evos. You grind it against the bad teams. There's a whole bunch of bad teams. The Hornets, the Magic, the the Bulls, the freaking Cavs, the Pistons, the Knicks. Any of these bad teams really work, but the Cavs seem to be the, the fan favorite just because, I don't know, they are pretty bad, and they do have some guys who will shoot the ball too. Kevin Love get the rock. He shoot it. So now another random tip that I have been doing. So say you need rebounds with McAdoo. Put in a bronze center, man. Like, literally, you'll get the rebounds like a cakewalk just because the bronze centers aren't very good at rebounding. Like, put in the shortest, most worst-ass rebounder. Like, this card right here. Well, obviously, he's not a center, but put in just put in a center who's terrible at rebounding, and that, honestly, will get McAdoo more rebounds. And then, honestly, you can just flop with the center and make sure McAdoo gets the board, like, damn near every time. So, let's get into it. Um, but that's the lineup right now. Again, we're going to be using... We're not going to try and score probably just like 100 points with one player in this. I mean, you can do that. I did that a whole bunch yesterday. I don't really need to right now. I mean, I do need to score a lot of points with McAdoo, though. So we're going to try and see how many points we can feed him, just throwing him to the rims, trying to get free throws, all kinds of stuff. But I also will show you how to get the three balls and stuff like that. I do need some more points with Morris Peterson. I think I need about 100 more, 100 and I think maybe 30 points with him. I, could, I guess I could go for that in this game, but... Uh, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> now, before we start off, one quick tip. If you're grinding for the Jerry Stackhouse, put him at the three because it'll position him down the court instead of accepting the inbound. So you can literally just pass to the one guard, the two guard, one quick pass down the court, and he is like literally open on the outside of the arc. So quick little tip right there. It's much easier to do him if he's positioned at the three instead of the two. But let's get it. The game is underway. And yeah, on defense, honestly, like do this. Like you're trying to get fouls, just drive the rim. <laughs> It's rookie mode, bro. You can literally get points so easily. And then when they get the ball, just flop. Get out the way. Leave them wide open. Like, like literally, look at You're open, bro. <laughs> like, there you go. And they'll honestly shoot and miss. They're terrible, bro. They really are. And then we need dunks with this card. Please dunk. Ah, he ain't gonna dunk. Dang it. <laughs> we need a couple dunks with that card as well. But those, I think, are better to get on, like, triple threat. You can definitely get some of those stuff, like, on that easier. Come on. Keep flopping. Not gonna do in the paint, but they greened it, so it doesn't matter. I do need to get, I mean, 200 rebounds to nothing. That's super easy. But you can literally just drive to the basket like this. Uh, it, it, right by him. It's rookie mode. It's so easy. And then on threes, too, you can shoot the snatch back. I'll show you one with Jerry Stackhouse. It's so easy, bro. Doesn't even matter where the defense is. But, again, I don't really need points with him. Oh, I'm supposed to be flopping. Okay, it doesn't matter. We got the steal. <laughs> we definitely can find Bob McAdoo here streaking. Run into the defender. Okay, dunk on him. And one. There's a free throw. See? We got to make sure we make it, though, because, again... His free throw release is definitely not the best. His rating, not the best. Ah, thank you, man. But yeah, just trying to show you guys this video. Hopefully this isn't too long. But I just wanted to help you guys grind. Who don't do that. You don't want to get too close to them because then they call blocking fouls. Come on, hit the floor. Hit the floor. There you go. <laughs> just let them score, honestly. Like, it doesn't matter. You're going to be scoring 120-something points probably. Even if you, you don't even have, like, a crazy good game. Isaiah, stop and pop. That's not a good release, though. You got to green it. Have to green it. That's one of the things with this. Like, Stackhouse, I feel like he is better, honestly, for this, just because his release is so easy to time. 
I, I haven't used Isaiah Thomas much, but it doesn't really matter where the defense is. You can shoot them as long as you're not moving. Don't be moving. That was what my problem was. I was doing this, and I was like, man, I'm only getting 100 some points. Hit the floor. Hit the floor, fam. Okay, or try and get the steals. I mean, you can get those two pretty easily in this if you still need them. Like, the computer doesn't call too many fouls. Okay, can we send McAdoo on a cut to the basket? This is also pretty easy to do. You just send players on cuts to the basket, and by hitting the triangle or the uh, whatever, the Y button. Uh, um, but do that, you get easy cuts, and you can literally get so many points with these freaking cards. Like, we'll probably score 30 points this quarter, even without shooting a whole bunch of threes. And again, we just got some free throws too. It's probably gonna be pretty easy to do that. I won't show you all of this game. I'll just show you tidbits and clips and stuff like that. But I'll just, I'm gonna grind this out, see how many points we can get, man. And again, just literally run away from them. You see Kevin Love on the outside. Don't, I mean, don't get a three seconds, but you can uh, just literally run away from Kevin Love. He'll spot up and shoot the three. So yeah, it's pretty easy. And again, watch the stack house. This is the move I love doing. The step back, little jumper like this, boom. And then he can green it usually so easily. I'm surprised that wasn't a green. But yeah, you can do that over and over and over. And it doesn't matter if you're double covered damn near. He'll still hit the shot. Oh, flop time, flop time, flop time. There you go. Oh, where's, where's it? Where, oh, I was going to say, where's McAdoo? Give me them rebounds. Come on, flop. There you go. <laughs> Just literally let them score, bro. You're going to be scoring at too high of a pace for them to even keep up with. And honestly, I mean, it doesn't really matter because you don't really need the win anyways. But there you go, Isaiah. That's a bad release, but it still goes in. It's all about release, honestly. That's really what it is. If you want to score crazy point totals, you have to uh, get your releases down. And he'll shoot that. Let's go. Ah, that should be a miss. Thank you. And yeah, you're off to run. You're on the horses. Let's get this ball over to this guy because he needs to shoot some threes. That's not a three. Ah, my releases are booty as well. My goodness. This is not very good. I mean, we've already got 22 points, but that's why I say this is so much better than triple threat because that's a full game of triple threat right there scoring with every single point against hard difficulty where even you miss open shots come on get that ball to him there you go shoot it there you go green so that's all you gotta do pass the ball green the three and then you're good and you can just score so many freaking points on this get out the way run out the paint oh they call timeouts why are you doing that i ain't got time like that but yeah it's pretty easy i mean you can also jump and the defenders will run into the paint like there's a lot you can really do honestly Let's get this. Oh, where's Morris? Where's Morris Peterson? The GOAT. Morris Peterson. Green light. See, it doesn't matter where the defense is. And once you get the takeover too, bro, you can just chuck him. But we did get a cool, a cool 33 points this quarter. Again, that's pretty good. I mean, nothing too crazy. Back do. give me that. Let's get that block. Why not? We can. Might as well. Okay, let's run down and pop a three. Okay, that's a little deep. Ah, can he hit it from there? No, nah, he can't. But that's okay. Rebounds. I'll take that. And now he'll hit that one. There you go, baby. Green light. I was going to say, it's a little too far. He don't got limitless range, I don't think. He might have gold range extender, but that don't. what is that good for? Oh, why am I fouling? That's stupid of me. See, you don't want to flop right in front of them like that. That's what you don't want to do. You want to just kind of do it randomly, or else you'll get called for blocking fouls. And just waste probably 20 seconds of your life that you could You could have just... Oh, give me this deal, I guess. Ugh. We'll take the free points. Not going to where you at, baby. Cut. He's not cutting. Why isn't he cutting? <laughs> So 38 points in a quarter. I mean, you average that out. If we get, say we get the 40, and we won't here, but we can try to get the steal. Uh, no, that ain't happening. So I'm going to keep playing and keep going. And again, we're really not going too ham, I guess, with McAdoo and we're supposed to be. We want to get at least 70 points in this game with him. So we'll continue to force the ball with him. Probably score a little bit less per quarter because, again, I do need points with Morris Peterson too. So I guess it really doesn't matter. I can go ham with him. He does have the takeover. Why not? Okay, shoot the ball, Kevin Love. You're wide open, bruv. Shoot the ball! <laughs> they really don't even be shooting sometimes. That's the craziest thing about it. Like, sometimes they are wide open, and they won't even shoot the ball themselves. My goodness, Mo Pete's going off. I love this card. This card's only a ruby, but he feels like he's one of the better shooters in the game, bro. He is so good. Okay, just fall, fall, fall. Hit the deck. Hit the deck, fam. Hit the deck. Oh, my God, they're taking so long. This is the longest possession. Run this way. Woo! <laughs> Look at this play they're running. Why did they just do that? They just ran a whole play to get open when they were open the whole time. I just don't even understand that logic. Oh, boy. Now, you're going to see they're going to try double teaming, but that's honestly going to leave him wide open. I mean, that's not wide open, but he'll be open. We could have shot it when we caught it. But, yeah, so that's one of the things, too. Like, once they start double teaming, too, I mean, double teams are easy to beat on freaking rookie mode. Okay, fall down, Patrick Ewan. Patrick Chewing, baby. That's my board. Shut up, Kevin Love. Or whoever's pointing to the sky. You ain't getting that rebound. That was Larry Nance. He ain't getting that rebound. Give me that. Oh, that was not a rebound. 
We're going off with Mopi. He is definitely cooking for us. We already have 11 and 7 with McAdoo. And again, we're really not even like going to him like that crazy like that. But yeah, someone on Twitter was telling me that, uh, you know, triple threat's just the same. You get the same amount of stats. Uh, that's not, that's not true at all. For the time, I mean, yeah, you do get progression towards them thousand wins, but I personally would rather just uh, do this. I don't know. I feel like this is way more fun, way easier too. Like my goodness, this is so easy. I can do this while talking to y'all and do a live commentary or watching Netflix or I don't know, whatever. But And again, just keep flopping. Just keep flopping. They'll green some shots here and there, but that's actually good, man. We're just going to keep getting the points, getting the wins up. Keep passing that ball to the corner for Mo P, baby. It really doesn't even matter with the energy, too, because guys will hit shots. When they get, like, super tired, like the fourth quarter, you're probably going to start missing some shots. Again, unless you really green everything, which I pretty much am with Morris Peterson. But yeah, you're going to just miss some shots. More Again, him being at the three position makes it so you can green damn near every shot. Like, And he's already down the court too, which is nice. You don't got to do no dribbling. They missed that really. Wow, this CPU is so bad. They literally just missed a wide open shot. And we're going to come back and green and cover. Oh, they really missed that shot though. That's a wide open layup. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Rookie mode is just a joke, bro. You can literally just... I don't know. You can just do so much, and then again, they'll just keep missing shots. Look at McAdoo. He just grabbed that board from his butt. He was just on the ground, and then he grabbed the board. And you can do, again, no, that's Stackhouse. We don't want points with him. Oh, nice glitchy rebound. Where is Morris Peterson, bro? Why are they trying to double Isaiah Thomas? He don't even got that many points this game. Ooh, step back. Green beans! <laughs> He's green like every shot, bro. It is just cheese. I guess we are literally going ham with Morris Peterson. I guess that's the what we're doing right now. Give me that steal, bro. Oh, I need a dunk. I need a dunk. There we go, baby. Damn. We need four dunks with him, so that actually works out well. 15 for 17. And again, if you shoot good percentages and you know your shot jumpers like that, man. And I'll, I'll keep trying to go for steals every now and then. Every now and then, you can try and get a steal in the backcourt like that, and it actually works out for you. But yeah, you can get a lot of points. Oh, shoot. I messed up there. Ah, so we got nearly 50 at half. How many is Morris? He's got 43. And I mean, that's even with me freaking, like, other cards have freaking points. It hasn't been just me using him. I have definitely been using him a lot right here. We're going to kick it back to him once again. Wait and shoot right in his grill. <laughs> but yeah, even with uh, having, what, I don't know, McAdoo's got 11, Patrick Ewan's got a couple, we got a couple with Isaiah Thomas. So uh, even Stackhouse has six points. We still have 73 freaking points. So we're on pace again for 150 damn near points, which is pretty glitchy. And in 30 minutes, look, you're not scoring 150 points in triple threat. That's not happening. I'm mad someone tried telling me you can grind cards better through triple threat. Like statistically, that don't even make sense. Don't even make sense. Like even if you play your triple threat games in five minutes, your, your game to game, five games times 21, that's 100 points. That's not 150. It's not even close. So, yeah. And again, I, that's if you're playing every game in five minutes. No errors. No connection. Like, no no server dropouts, which like, that does happen every now and then. Like, that's well opening the vault super quick. Like, I don't know. I just feel like this is way faster. And this is also easier, bro. Why would you? I, I mean, if you really want those 1,000 wins, and you're going to push for that. But, I mean, I can still do that after. So, I'm really not that pressed to play Triple Threat and do this through there. I guess we'll try and finish up Mo Peterson again. I think I was about 130 points short from getting him to freaking, what's it called? Getting him to Amethyst. I really like that card, bro. I'm surprised that's one of the last ones for me that I have to finish up. I have to do him and then Mahmoud Abdul Roof, but I don't really like his jumper. Oh, wow. That was stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, again, if he's at that three position, you'll literally just go down the court and he's going to end up just getting the ball damn near right at the line and just popping and, yeah. I guess we are a little behind the 100 point uh, amount for, for Mac, not McAdoo. For, see, I, I originally wanted to get the points for McAdoo, and that's what I'll need to do earlier, or I guess later on today. But yeah, you can just do like cuts like this to the basket. And again, I showed you earlier, you can just chuck up shots. It doesn't matter. So if I really wanted to get the points with McAdoo, I'll just be doing that. Or let, pick and rolls too work really well. Like, it's really not that hard to do with the big. You will score less. You won't be scoring 150, 160 with McAdoo probably. Again, he can't hit threes, so it's a little different. But you can literally just do cuts like this, and then boom, chuck up the shot. That's not McAdoo, so it don't do much for me. But put him at the five position. He'll be the one not inbounding most of the time and getting those buckets like that. So, yeah, um, I'll tweak the lineup a little bit for when I'm trying to grind my McAdoo points for sure. But ooh, where's Mac? Where's Mac? That's off. Ah, Patrick Ewan, you are stealing all my damn rebounds, bruh. 
That's not what I want. Ooh, buckets. That's buckets. You already know. And again, you can do a lot of Evos at once through this. With Again, triple threat, you're limited to three players. You can do a lot with this. You could do a whole bunch of different players. And if someone starts getting tired, I mean, you could, in theory, sub them out. Mac can do that off. Give me that board and put back. What? He missed that, though. Morris Peterson does have, what, 66? So I am a little behind, I guess, the 100 point. Uh, where I want to be, so I'll just have to chuck a little bit here in this last quarter. I mean, I need more than 100, so I'm not going to get him. I'm not going to finish him off, and I also need dunks. Oh, give me a dunk! Yeah, baby! We need the dunks! Those are kind of a pain in the neck sometimes, because players sometimes don't be dunking. Like that Dwayne Wade, he was impossible to get dunks with. Oh my god, bro. It was so hard. That was like the ultimate struggle, trying to get a dunk with Dwayne Wade. <laughs> that freaking Evo card. Yeah, I just, I gave up on that one. I don't even... We don't even use him like that. Um, let's get that ball over to him. Wait. Pop. Green. <laughs> it's just so easy. Man. I don't know how anyone can... I don't know why you'd rather play triple threat than when you could just do this. This is so easy, bro. I could do this with my arm tied behind my back damn near. I could probably do this with my damn feet. Like, if I really wanted, we could probably play this damn game with, my, with our feet. Ooh, step back. Oh, give me that. Get in there. Oh, let's go. <laughs> And even with me recording my intro, we're still not even at 30 minutes. Like me talking to y'all, explaining, the, talking about the video. We're not even at 30 minutes yet in this in this freaking gameplay. So like, I, this hasn't even, it's been 28 minutes. And that's with me recording and talking for 10 to 15 minutes. In the beginning, or not 10 to 15 minutes, 10, probably 10 minutes. But still, you can grind these out super quickly. And also, once Isaiah Thomas does get the playmaker, you do get, um, ooh, give me that corner. Ah, that's not a three. Dang it. I was trying to step back. He wasn't doing it. But, uh, I mean, you can get, uh, I think, does he get a passing boost or dimer boost or something once he gets a takeover? I don't know, man. But you can, yeah, there are ways you can do this a whole bunch. Get good passers, too. So when you're passing to the guys, they get maybe a boost or something. I don't know. Guys with Hall of Fame badges. There's all kinds of ways you can think about and you can honestly make this strategy your own and make it the best for you. Whether you need threes, whether you need rebounds, bro. You can just chuck up terrible shots with guys who can't shoot and get tons of rebounds, too. That's another thing. Like, the computer is terrible at rebounding. So, yeah, you can just put terrible players out there with McAdoo and probably get 40 to 50 boards a game, I would assume. But rebounds are pretty easy to do, in my opinion. Let's get that ball back to him. Where's he at? Why are they doubling Isaiah? <laughs> Why are they doubling him? That's awful. Wow, I thought that, that was off. So, yeah, hopefully this video does help you out. Again, the main things to focus on on this are just playing literally the worst defense in the world. Leave these dudes open. What is that? A block and foul? Where? What are you doing, CPU? <laughs> But yeah, just leave the computer open. Now, again, these guys are pretty tired. As I said, by the fourth quarter, you definitely will start to miss some shots. Uh, I think I've missed a couple of shots I did not green in this quarter. Ooh, get him step back. There you go. Step back. That's a little deep. That might not be in. He's a little tired, so I'm not really surprised that he missed that. Oh, I was going to say, let's get two free throws. But we do get one with McAdoo here as he gets the and one. And once McAdoo does have the glass cleaner, too, that is kind of nice for getting the rebounds. Because y'all know, hey, the board's going over there. If I didn't flop with him, and I should flop with everyone else, then we could easily get rebounds and stuff like that. So, yeah, it is kind of nice. The takeovers are freaking wicked nice on this for grinding it, too. So we can take guys like freaking Patrick Ewan, drop him to the floor, him dropping to the floor, and then look, as soon as he shoots this, okay, that's green. But <laughs> as soon as he shoots it, we know where to position ourselves to get the rebounds, and you can get probably 30 rebounds a game in this easy. There you go, green light, baby. That is 99 with my boy Mo Pete. Can we get another 30 points in a minute here? No, probably not. So I'll have to play. I'll have to score with him a few more. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shoot. Can we get up and get the rebound? Get up. Oh. Again, I kind of just wanted to explain this, but you can do this with damn near any player. It's really not that hard. And yeah, it's just money. I mean, how many shots do we green? <laughs> Almost every single shot. It doesn't matter if the defense is there. It's just about knowing the release and being able to hit it. Again, with Isaiah Thomas, his release is kind of quick, so I got to get used to it, and eventually I'll do that, but... I've kind of just been grinding for that, uh, what's it called? That freaking stack house so long that my releases feel so long, man. My goodness. Um, pull back, dog. Where are you going? Shoot back. There you go. Step back. Green light. You're like, that step back is money, bro. But don't shoot, like, moving, running, left. That stuff don't work. But that step back like that, it's money every single time down here. So, pretty sweet stuff, man. That's just the best way to grind is doing this stuff. And again, pretty close to 150 points. Not that crazy. A little bit less, but still. I mean, we can come pretty close if we can scram out a couple buckets here. Mo Pete, baby. Hit it. Hit it. Come on. <laughs> Let's get one more three. Oh, that's more than we one point short. Shit. And if you want to, I mean, you can foul him right here. Hey, shoot your free throws. Let me try and get my last couple points. So that's another thing, too. Oh, I called the timeout. That's not smart. <laughs> We're wasting time here. Valuable time. Come on, Mo Pete. This is all you, buckaroo. Where you at, dog? Mo Pete. 
Gets buckets. That's a green, and that's 150. GG. 114 with Mopi. And again, we could have gone even more ham with him. We really didn't, and that will be the game. 150 to 65. Yeah, you can score a lot of points doing this stuff, man. You really can. So, pretty sweet. And you do also get to empty at the end of the game and get, like, 700. I mean, we, if we had shot more threes with him, we probably could put 150 up. We only shot 38 freaking threes, man. He only missed eight shots. Like, and we did also get some points and rebounds from McAdoo, though. And again, I, I, I needed to finish this card, which I didn't do. We're still probably, what, 15 to 20 points short. But, and I think we need maybe two or three more dunks, so I'll probably do that in Triple Threat. So you can kind of combine the two. It's all about what you need. I mean, if you don't have time to play Domination like this, then no. But it's just going to take you longer. It's going to take you a lot longer. And for me, I would rather grind them out. We got, actually, we did get 943 points for that. So not bad. Almost 1,000 MT for playing the game, bro. I thought we'd get less than that. But we come down to the Morris Peterson right here. And yeah, we need 14 more points and two more dunks. And again, that's not that bad. That's that's. I'll do that in Triple Threat because... I think you get dunks on there a little bit easier, or even online too, you can do that. But And then next, I gotta do this card, and then I have to, again, I have to finish up my Mac Doom, which we will do, but, I mean, even in that game, we got, what, 16, 20 points with him. So, but we'll grind it out. You can get 70, 80 points a game with him. So, really, it's like another 15 games. I, I think I could probably squeeze out maybe 100 with him. If I really try it and just send him down the court, keep throwing him to the basket, we'll definitely get the rest of the free throws too by doing this. Can't get free throws in triple threat. Just saying. Can't, you, you, you literally are going to have to play some full games like this. It's just how it goes. So this is definitely the best way to do it. Again, a huge shout out to Henry the Blasian for this method and kind of the breakdown of it. Again, it might just be not really a method. It's just shooting threes, but it's the small details of letting them score, flopping, and a bunch of things that he definitely thought of and i did not because if i did i would have already had jason richardson like a week ago two weeks ago when a game first came out damn here because i would have finished up these in one day you can do these in literally one damn day so yeah pretty nice uh, definitely a lot better than what i thought before you do have to play 75 games again so you'll have to play some triple threat but i had already played so many that that's not even a thing look at with Bob McAdoo and all these cards, I've already played so many games, bro. And again, to get these freaking, the Jason Rich, you have to have all these evolved to get this card, to get that card. Then you have to have all of the other ones evolved too. You have to finish up all the domination cards, every single one of them. And yeah, then once you do, you get the, what, you get the ball cards, you get this Jack Stackhouse and McAdoo like that, all-time domination. And then yeah, once you get all these guys evolved, you will be good to go, but pretty sweet stuff that's all i got for y'all in the video and it, i mean it's definitely a lot easier than i thought it was yesterday bro because or a couple days ago because i was just playing normally and i was like man i played already 184 games with mcadoo and he only got freaking 1500 points like, that's crazy that's so freaking many games bro whereas with this stack house 124 games chucking like that last night for most of the game and boom, we got it done in like, again, we got it done in one night pretty much. So yeah, uh, definitely going to do that with McAdoo next. And again, I'll finish up Morris Peterson and then Mahmood. I don't really like him. I don't like his jumper. It's not as smooth as the Mo P. Cliff Robinson was terrible too. The Bob server is pretty good, but I don't know. Um, but that's it. We're, we're pretty close to this Jay Rich. We'll have him soon. And then again, I could do this and probably get him to freaking Galaxy Opal after damn near one day of grinding this, I feel like as well. So it's all about what you want to do. If you want to play the CPU and grind this out like this, you can totally get these cards evolved. And this is, if you're a no money spent guy, that might be the move for you versus, you know, playing a lot of triple threat, which some people like. So I don't know. It's all about to you. But I did want to make this video. And hopefully now y'all know the best way to Evo cards. I mean, I hope they don't like patch. How can you patch this? It's just playing the game. It's just letting the CPU score and then sh just scoring, scoring, and scoring. So... I don't think there's really any way they can patch this. Like, they were meant... You, these were meant to be grindable cards, and that's what we do, and we learn in the best ways. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, again, go check out HTB. And, yeah, leave a like if you want to see some more videos like this. I'll probably do another video on beating Domination now that I've already beaten it. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's how to grind for these Evos. It's super easy once you do it like this. I mean, this video to record took me about 40 minutes, but you take out all this time of me talking and stuff like that... And, yeah, you can really, we could have put up 300 points this hour, which, again, 300 points, a lot more than, like, let's see, the, the, the 112, I think, you could put up in triple threat for an hour, so this is way better. 
Okay, we're dragging on. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you've been doing this down in the comments section. And yeah, peace out, man. We should have some Jason Richardson coming soon to the squad. And then some gameplay. Yeah! Peace, man.